Hi everyone, we're going to look at the ballistics demo and try to solve for um, the problem here. What we have is a pellet which is going to go into uh, here and when we shoot it, it's going to fly and collide with the box over there. Our um, goal is to find the velocity of the pellet. Uh, in order to do this, first we had to measure the mass of the, ob the masses of the objects that are colliding. We use the scale to measure the mass of the pellet, and we also have a known mass for the box, which is 77.3 grams. Loading up the pellet, we are going to set the stick here, which measures the angle after collision, and we're going to release the gun. Did not work this time. Let us try again until it works. The idea is that this has to be a completely inelastic collision, meaning that the two masses uh, come together into to being one. Now it is aligned, and as you can see, the angle there is about, I believe, nine degrees, maybe eight and a half degrees. I'm going to go with nine. Okay, let's now uh, figure out the velocity using mathematics. Using the law of conservation of momentum, the situation before is this. You have your mass, which is shooting out with a certain velocity, and you have the box, which is sitting at a velocity of zero. After collision, the two masses combine, and they fly forward with a combined velocity. The masses we calculated with the, using the scales, um, the mass of the pellet is 4.8 grams, or 0 0.0048 kilograms. We know the mass of the box, and the combined mass is 0 0.0821 kilograms. Using law of conservation of momentum, we compare the momentum of the objects before, and we say that that momentum equals the momentum of the objects combined afterwards. M1v1 plus M2v2 equals M combined V combined. Plugging in the numbers, we get uh, th that equation, which leaves us with uh, only uh, the velocity of the um, bullet, which is unknown, and the velocity of the combined masses, which is un unknown. This term here is zero because the velocity of the box was zero. So at the very end, you have this, you're left with this equation where the velocity of the bullet is 17.1 times the velocity of the combined mass. Moving on, after the uh, boxes have collided, the box is about to move forward um, and swing, swing upwards uh, and achieve some kind of height in the y direction. Looking at uh, the law of conservation of energy, we're going to compare the energies of the, uh, the first situation with the energy of the second situation. So the total energy when the box was at the bottom, by bottom I mean with reference to an, an imaginary line here, whose height we are going to say is zero. So the total energy at the bottom is, should be equal to the total energy at the top. Total energy uh, is equal to both the kinetic energy and the gravitational potential energy um, of the object. So EK uh, at the bottom plus, EK, plus EG at the bottom equals EK uh, at the top plus EG at the top. The uh, gravitational potential energy of this object is going to be zero since the height is zero. The um, equation for uh, gravitational potential energy is mgh. Since h is zero, this term is zero. When the box reaches its maximum height, as it moves upwards, it stops there, meaning its velocity is now zero. Thus, uh, the kinetic energy for that, uh, for that box is now zero. So you're left with equating the kinetic energy of the box in the, in the beginning equals the potential energy of the box at the end. The uh, mathematical formula for this is one-half combined mass times velocity combined squared equals combined mass times g times h. You have combined mass on both sides, so those terms cancel. Eventually, you're left with uh, this term where the velocity of the combined mass is equal to the square root of 2 times gravity times 
whatever this height is. To determine this height, uh, we are not able to, uh, to actually measure it, but we do know the angle. So let us figure out the height using the angle. Here we have the box in the beginning swinging forward over here. The, the stick over, uh, which was uh, placed beside the box is now moved forward by the top part of the box. We're going to say that this angle is theta and this is the height that the box achieved as we saw in the previous, um, in the previous drawing as well. So this height over here, imagine you have an imaginary line there and another imaginary line going to the top of the box. This height here plus the side of the box is the same as le this length, the side of the box plus the height. So we can say that this part is the height. So the way we're going to go about this is we need to figure out what is the length from the corner of the box here to the hinge. We, we, I, I previously measured that the, the height from the hinge down to the top of the box was 20 centimeters exactly. Basically, what, uh, what I measured was from the top here all the way to the, the top of the box over there. Okay. okay, so what we have to do is using a uh, law of cosines, we figure out that this side here is um, 2 times the length squared minus, uh, or you can see the rest of the equation. Basically, at the end, we have uh, a side that depends on 2 times the length squared minus times that. So the cosine was, the, the angle was 9 degrees, so 1 minus cosine 9 times 400 times 2 square root of that, we have a side of 3.14 centimeters. The side length is 3.14 centimeters. Looking over here, this triangle at the top, if we take a look here, uh, is an isosceles triangle, meaning that this angle, plus, uh, you have the two equal angles here, meaning that they all add up to 180. Uh, using that, we can figure out that uh, alpha is now um, 180 minus 9 divided by two of them. We have 85.5. Okay, um, let me just get another pen. One moment, please. 85.5, much better. Um, the... The, the triangle at the bottom that, that was formed, you have to figure out this way using this equation. I'm going to speed up here. Uh, cosine of this times the side length, which is 20 centimeters, gives us uh, cosine 85.5 times the side length of 3.14, 3.14. This is 0 0.24, so let's here. This is 0 0.24 centimeters, which is 0. Point, sorry, which is 2.4 millimeters, 0 0.0024 meters. Um, 0 0.0024 times gravity times 2 square root. We have a final velocity of 0.22 meters per second times 17.1, 3.71 meters per second. So in total, we're left with these equations. Your height uh, gives you the velocity of the combined objects, and the velocity of the combined objects gives you the velocity of the bullet. That is all. Thank you.